Welcome back to my channel. It has been a minute just because life happened. I got super sick. I was hospitalized. But you know what? Who cares about that? I'm back with a haul. Yes, I am determined to give you guys the value of my hauls. Why are they valuable? Because I find some freaking good things. I find some freaking good things. That is why they are hauls that are amazing, that are excellent, and that you need to see. Please subscribe. That's my spiel. Let's get into this haul. As you guys have seen, my um, thumbnail, yes, I thrifted Balenciaga, which is not anything <laughs> short of amazing, uh, and I got it for 91 cents. That's right, I got it for 91 cents. Why? Because I just divide the amount of items I get in, the, in my haul that day by how much I spent, and so it worked out to 91 cents each piece. Yes. I mean, there is no other job where you can, there, even the stock market isn't this good, where you can literally get a return on your investment. Like it's like, I don't know the math right now, but like 2,000%, like 2,000% over what you pay. So, I want to show it to you guys. This is my creation. This is considered their the de destroy. It's purposely like this with the collar. And it's still in great condition. Like it's very strategic how they destroyed it. And everything else is amazing. It's 100% authentic. It has all the hardware. I hope you guys can see. This Balenciaga. Oh, my glare. I don't know. It has all of the stuff inside the tagging because you know you don't want to have counterfeits you don't want to be doing all that and that's selling counterfeits but oh my goodness i was so excited to find this and the funny thing is this is like many other haulers say oh forgive the noise i'm in a public space it is what it is i hope it's not too annoying what i can do better i will do better but for now i hope you guys just enjoy this content that i'm trying to bring to you so, let's grow together. <laughs> um, I was at the bins for a while, and then I was contemplating, should I stay or should I go? And I decided, ah, uh, it was close to, you know, when you sort of see them getting ready to really bring out that next turn. I was like, ah, let me say to this last turn. I'm so glad I did. I found crazy things. A lot of men's things. Not a lot, but I found a good amount, like five pieces that I was just like, what? What? So yes, Balenciaga. And actually, I had to rush into the video because it's already sold, and it sold for one hundred fifty dollars. I wanted to move it quickly. I could have tried to hold out for more, but ninety-one cents to one hundred fifty dollars. Mm. Yeah, I'll take that. All right. Let's see, I have a big bag. <laughs> Most of these things have already been listed in our upper and wash, but I put them in a bag. Yeah. Because I just did. Okay, this is another item already sold. And I, I got all these things before I got sick, so I got these things about mm, two weeks ago. And I took all the pictures and I listed it. Just note to self, just note to everyone, please keep up with your hauls and your listing. Meaning, if you're hauling it, list it. If you're hauling it, list it. Only take the pictures. Because in my situation, I was sick unexpectedly. And I was so thankful that even in sick bed, with my little strength, I was able to list my ideas because the hardest part many times is the, the drudgery of taking those pictures, you know? But I had already taken the pictures. I could sit in there and measure and, you know, um, do those listings. So I was really happy and thankful that I had done that work because it paid off. This item I also got. This Burberry tie. Now, Berber and Ties, just a little note. I like some ties. You saw this in the last video. I showed you, I think, some ties. It has the Burberry, um, you know, one of their little logos. Uh, it's also on the back. Like, it's spread throughout slightly. It's on the side. Um, it's subtle. It's 100% silk, burgundy. And this sold for $30. Burberry ties honestly don't do tremendously well. Uh, yeah, vintage was, unless it's the classic, iconic. Burberry plaid, uh, which can still 
go for fifty, a hundred dollars, maybe even hundred fifty units brand new with tax. Um, Burberry, other times, uh, they can go for like twenty bucks. You know, fifteen, maybe thirty. The only reason that went for thirty is because it still had the logo and it was very identifiable because the logo was right on the front at the tip. All right, another tie. I got a lot of ties. I'm gonna look at my ties real quick. I think this is so pretty. Uh, I hope you guys can see the pretty. It's like kind of like a floral. It's like I think lilac um, or iris. I'm not lilac. I think this comes from Dunhill. Uh, hope you guys can see that. 100% silk. I usually only only buy 100% silk, silk ties because silk is a desirable uh, material that people would like. Like silk, cashmere, leather, those natural luxury fabrics will always help garner you a bigger uh, price point. But Dunhill's a very luxury um, menswear brand and they specialize also on ties. And so I have, I haven't actually listed that one yet. I took the pictures, but I haven't listed it yet. But that should go for around $30, maybe even more, depending on, you know. Got some new tax items, I was very excited. Got this ruffle and tie. And again, I usually actually do not pick a ruffle. And the reason I did is because it's new with tags. It was originally $65. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, maybe not the $65. And also I got it because it's skinny. So, uh, so I'm going quicker with these ties. <laughs> Another tie that I usually don't pick up, but I thought it was very modern. Uh, it's kind of skinny. Oh, oh. <laughs> the lighting. Sorry, guys. Let me see if I could do it this way. Yes, here you can see it a little better. And it's um, Brooks Brothers, but it's um, more current Brooks Brothers. So I got that. Uh, that Brooks Brothers, uh, twenty dollars. I'm looking for even fifteen. Because again, you have to think about the reason I like selling ties is because ties they may sit. Okay, they may not be a quick flick, a less quick flick, a quick flip, unless you have a very like desirable, very no recognizable. Uh, Local-ish kind of tie or brand um, like Burberry uh, or Yves Saint Laurent I've sold before or things like that. But they're a great thing to flip because they weigh nothing. So you can get a bundle of them, list them, and the listing is very isn't that like a lot of measurements. It's like length and width and material, uh, and it doesn't take up space. You know, so it's like it's a bit. I would say try to stay in the range of a tie that'll bring you ten to twenty dollars because you know it's great margin even though it's like fifty cents really <laughs> what is it cost fifty cents twenty cents uh, with the weight when you're at the bins but it's worth it so that's why I like having ties um, also it adds to like your quantity and I think that it's it's not just about the it's not just about the numbers but it's about the numbers so numbers do help and they I think they do help in um, the algorithm, like the algorithm takes, takes consideration, number of listings, dollar amount of the listings, you know, things like that. Even if you have recognizable brands, it'll have a whole, you know, like when they do the luxury brands, like, oh, they're doing the, uh, you know, we're doing a um, Burberry, Dior, or whatever. Uh, um, okay, I don't know what I'm saying. I mean, I told you guys I was, I'm just getting over being sick. This is Christian Dior. I got this. It's skinny and it has little Dior uh, written there. So I think this will do very well. This isn't up yet, but I'm looking forward to selling that. This is a brand that actually does do decently. Another Christian Dior. And this is vintage. This is not a skinny tie. But the vintage tie still can get like $30. And I like the color. I think it's vibrant. Oh, this is a very good brand. I, this is one of the first. This is what got me into selling ties years ago. I stumbled across this brand. It's called Briani. And I just was like, oh, okay, I'll put that up. And that tie that I had at the time, I got it, I think, at Salvation Army. I paid like, um, I wasn't going to the bins at that time. I paid like $2.99, I think. I think it sold for $100. I was like, what? Do I pay $100 for this little used tie? But yes, so it's a brand that they people will pay up for. Um, I think this style, I'm going to start at uh, like $50, $60. And 
know, sometimes you, sometimes, you know, like, they'll go for 30, but they usually don't go under that. Like, Rihanna's a very good friend. Fine. All right. Oh, I have one more tie. I have one more tie. <laughs> this is not a silk tie. This is a cotton tie. This is penguin. I have sold uh, penguin ties before. It was originally $50. Uh, and I got it because it was new with tags and also it's very skinny and it's spring. This is something that I think is good for the season that's coming up ahead, which is spring. And again, I also buy things always thinking about in the back of my head. This is also something that I can see being sold to consignment store, you know, the buy trade sales. Uh, because, hey, that'll be a quick flip when I want that quick money. Okay, let's get into the good goods. All right. Now I'm just picking stuff up randomly. I got this Eileen Fisher silk, you know, just shell. This is a staple. Someone will always buy this. I think this is gonna once I have this listed. I haven't even taken pictures of this particular one because I wanted to um, clean it lightly. Um, it has like that little wear, um, like, like deodorant. I'm gonna take it all out. I like selling things that are almost in pristine condition. It's a size large, but I think this is something, a keyhole, close it, closed, uh, closure in the back. That will sell very quickly. And I'll probably list that at $30. <clears throat> I got all these little socks. Not a whole lot, but I got some socks because they were new on the bags. So some Ted Baker socks. I think these are pretty. So, list that. Oh, I started getting swimwear. And I don't just get any swimwear, I try to only buy luxury swimwear. So this is a brand, India, Inda, I-N-D-A-H. I've sold it before, it can go for $50, so I have this cute. And this top, that's such a cute set. I'm gonna start that at like $60. And again, look at how light that is, like, it's crazy. And now people are going to start buying uh, for, you know, um, spring break. People are, you know, when going on honeymoons. Like, there's always people going on vacation and thinking about just the summertime. So this is an item that I've got. It's Isabella Marant. Uh, her Etoile line. It uh, has cute little snap buttons on the shoulders. Now the only thing with this is a dress. I don't think the dress is missing, whatever was through those grommets. Uh, but I did notice it had imperfection. It had like, um, yeah, these small little wool, these holes right here. I'm thinking that it had one there and it had one here. Oh, and the sleeve. I checked it out. That's the only holes it has. Now, one of my tricks for wool, uh, when you're selling it, it has a hole in it, but it's like a really cute piece. And you still want to try sell it. Is one, you can try selling with the hole. I just acknowledge, look, it has a hole. The other thing is, I like to have patches, uh, you know, and, you know, someone will like it with the patches. <laughs> so, I'm going to see how it does, and I'm going to find some ribbon, probably black, because I couldn't find any stock photos on that. Find some ribbon, some gross green black ribbon, put it through the ground, and make little bows in the front, and see how it does. I mean, this is resale. You know, sometimes you win them, sometimes you lose. You know, but again, this I got it depends. All this stuff was super cheap and it's great pieces. And I think that I'll be able to consign it even if I can't sell it online. This is another piece, uh, Tory Burch, classic polo, knit polo, oh, the glare, <laughs> it's navy, uh, with the gold button detail. So I can't wait to put that up. That's the thing I think, things like that move very quickly. This is one of those hard things. I kind of wish I didn't get it when I got it home, but then I was like, I tried to really do it for myself to see if I would keep it. And I was like, hmm, I like it for myself. Maybe I don't like it for myself. Okay, let me go back. <laughs> so it's so pretty. It's a silk, floral, like baby doll kind of top. It has very cool arm detail right here. Kind of like a cape, um, cap sleeve, but it's also like overlap. The brand is Let Me Be. Very appropriate for myself. <laughs> but um, I looked it up and it's a brand that sold through Anthropology. 
and their things are actually quite expensive that's what made me buy it but then i realized it's one of those weird brands where lots not a lot of people recognize it and so when it, you put it in search and when people are going like poshmark it's not one of those brands that people that's just in their system so i don't know if that's gonna do well or not but you should always try i think you should always try um every once in a while i'll sell non clothing items if it's and i've sold baby things before so i got this i'm gonna try this uh bundle me and this is just one of those car seat um stroller attachments uh it's in great condition it's nice and soft inside and the comps are really good on it um mm -hmm. they were i think like maybe people were still paying like 25 30 dollars for this and again it was really light so that was cool i got that uh okay uh this a staple little made well midi pencil skirt with side slit cute simple Let's see how that does oh here's another I guess it was from the same person. It was brand new. It's sealed. Uh, nursing bra. So. That's really good. And I started selling a Macari. Oh. The door. The door is ringing. I started selling on Macari. And so, Macari's really tricky. I've actually had three sales on Macari. Two of which I was very disappointed in because I'm, I'm brand new to the site. And, like, if you don't pressure yourself right with them, like, I don't know, you'll, it's almost like you'll be giving it away. So I've learned my lesson. But then the third thing, I was like, y'all are not going to play me anymore. And so I priced it right, and I was just like, no. Take that little, keep dropping my price down, take that off. And it sold and sold for a very good penny. But, um, I just started selling Macari. But I see Macari is like a weird site. It's kind of like eBay, I think, where... I think non-clothing items do very well, or like shoes I think do very well on there, that's what I'm seeing. And clothes, it has to be, it's like to be super, super, like, they're like a, it has to be really trendy. It's really trendy, it has to be very recognizable, like, I don't think you're selling basics on Macari like that. Um, but I could be wrong, like I'm brand new to the site, so. That's something like, those things I'm gonna also post, cross post on, on Macari. This is a brand now. I don't know if many of you are aware of this brand. This is a men's sewing brand that I've sold. This is maybe the fourth piece I've found. And it's always sold well for me. It's Suit Supply. Let me see. There you go. Suit Supply. And they, I don't know if they're everywhere, but I live in New York. And they have a shop on 5th, I think it's Madison Avenue. And their suits, their pieces, they're separate. It's all for men. Are very expensive, and they're sought after. And so I resold, and I usually always make at least hundred dollars whenever I resell them. This piece has a slight, again, imperfection, but I didn't realize I haven't posted it yet. I did take pictures on the uh, the shin, uh, the elbow, <laughs> uh, but it has all the buttons. It has a nice kind of tortoise shell buttons. I'm gonna acknowledge uh, that, and I'm not gonna put in a little suggestion. Great to, uh, you know, for attaching or having professionally put on arm patches, but I still think it's a little. Sorry. <laughs> I still think it will do well. Uh, I may not get 100 bucks for it, but I think that it will do well. I think I can still get maybe $50. Um, or 75 and also I'm probably gonna take this to the dry cleaners and have it clean okay. Yes, I do that. I'll have things professionally. I've done it all um, All my career reselling if it's a piece that I really believe in and I believe is worthy of like those extra steps I will have I have a professional cobbler that will really repair a shoe for me uh, or a handbag uh, or even a garment, it depends on what it is. It's not, that's not for everything. But if I believe it, yeah, I'll definitely do that. Because also I want to give my customers the experience of getting 
almost like you're getting it new. Like, I, like we always use the term pre-loved. I want to show you that it's been loved. You know, it's, it's been appreciated and I want to give that to you. So, oh, I like this brand. This is one of those things that when people just see the design, they know what it is. Uh, this body con. There's, this isn't as popular now, but I think everybody wants a free gum dress. I mean, didn't we just have hot girl summer? So this is a hot girl summer dress. <laughs> the designer is Mara Hoffman, very high-end designer. Uh, the dress originally retails for $300, like $298. Uh, I'm gonna be starting it off. I have it up already. I'm gonna be starting off at like $75. I think I have $80. Um, yeah, someone's gonna pick that up. Uh, this is a brand I've never heard of before. It may not do anything because I wasn't able to find a uh, stock photo. It was one of those pieces that I just might want to keep for myself. Uh, it's called, I don't think you can see Benjamin J. That's the brand. It's just this cute tank. I like the fact that the pocket, if I can show it to you, the pocket is like off center. And it's silk blend, it's so soft. It has like a little ruche. It's got a cool little feel, um, fit to it. But again, you know, some things, you know, unless you have someone model it, it's not, it's harder to sell. So this is maybe something, I have it up already, but we'll see. It's something like that, I took a risk because I'm thinking it's a great bundle piece, you know? Someone sees something in my closet and then, you know, they want a bundle like with jeans I have or with jean shorts I have or a skirt or maybe or pants like whatever so I was like okay let's try doesn't hurt some more swimwear this is oh I have it wrong I took the picture like this originally had it all up and then I found the stock photo I was like oh that's not how it's full on Kim it doesn't wear like this I had to retake photos and I had to take take those things down for a bit so I could correct it but uh this is how it is this tiny little bandeau um bikini top and it has the bottom but i don't have the bottom unfortunately but something like this like the reason i still took a risk is because a solid um bikini top people like you could put this with black thong bikini bottoms or whatever bikini bottoms if you want and the designer is norma kamali this is one of her newer tags And this bathing suit is a set retail. It was on Revolve. The stock for that like, I, I was able to get, and it retail for like I think one fifty or one ninety eight. It's very very nice piece, and it's pretty current. So I'm believing with again the season coming up, someone's gonna snatch that up. All right, here's one of our staples that we all love to find. Made well, great staple to sell online. Great staple to do buy sell trade with. Cute little chambray tunic. It has like, this little tie sleeve. So yeah, and it's super lightweight. So didn't cost anything really. <clears throat> this, oh my gosh, this is like I said that day. I found all these great men's pieces, luxury men's pieces. This is this cute hat. It has a little snap. Uh, how do I put it? There you go. I want to put it. Can I put it over my bun? <laughs> I'm like a character from some place. I'm like, hi, how you doing? How y'all doing out there? See my little hats on my bun? <laughs> but, um, my hair's a hot mess. <laughs> this is very nice, like, uh, hunting cap. It's 100% cashmere. Amazing. Uh, the, it's from Bergdorf Goodman. And the designer is a very well-known hat designer. I actually looked it up, Borsalino. I don't know if you can see it, that's the quote, Borsalino. And I learned that they were, they're the oldest um, Italian making, Italian hat makers. I, something like that. I had it a, a minute ago, but they're the oldest of, of making hats in some place. But, uh, and, that's the hunting hat, but if you ever find Borsalino, like fedoras, okay, those resell for like $300, $400. They brand new tax sell for like $800,000. No lie. So, 
I'm gonna now start looking at those when I have a chance at the bins, those nice, those hats, when they bring the hats out. Cause I, when I look at these videos, I hardly ever hear anyone talking about hats. But you know, there's a market for everything. And if you have the time, it's great to just like peruse in markets you're not used to. You know, it doesn't hurt, especially at the time. Okay, this is a brand I've sold before. It's a very nice brand, very luxury brand. The resale is outrageous. Sakina and Babi, Babi, oh, Nora, this is from the Nora collection, and they sell dresses. Like people wear these on like the red carpet. This is beautiful. Oh, look at how gorgeous that is. And this one is like asymmetrical. Now I couldn't find, and has an exposed uh, back zipper. Now I couldn't find a stock photo of this exact dress. I, ha I do believe that this was actually specifically tailored to have that asymmetrical hem. I don't think it came like that originally. Because the ones I did see, similar to that, not exactly, were floor length. So, but I do still believe that it will go, if someone will buy it. I have it up. I just put it up, I think, yesterday. And it's just a beautiful dress. I am not 100% pleased with my photos, so I may even retake it because it's gorgeous. It's a gorgeous, like, it's 100% self the skirt. It's just beautiful. But yes, Akeen and Baby, they're things I've done before. A lot of times you'll be able to resell it for $100 or more. Some more socks, guys. Ah, the Beatles. This is so cute, do you see? Oh my gosh, I saw these and I was like, oh, I'm just taking those because some things just make you happy. Like, looking at these socks make me happy. Every video, I have my pile right here. Like, money. <laughs> but yeah, I saw those socks and I was just like, yeah, I'm going to sell them. Someone will buy them and they're just too cute. Like, I want them to bring happiness to my closet. So, I have another new tax item I found. Uh... It's, it was retail for $29. It's from Urban Outfitters. And it's just this cute little babu. Babu. <laughs> Bandu or tube top. Some people might call it. Uh, there. And it's a blue, I mean, it's a purple white gingham. It's very cute. So, you know, I think someone will like this. <clears throat> this, you know when you buy those pieces and you feel like the only hindrance to you selling it is being able to get the right picture. <laughs> That's what this is. So this is from a brand, Plum Pretty Sure. I had never heard of it, looked it up. This is a size large, uh, and it's a jumpsuit. And they specialize in bridal wear, you know, like for bridal parties and bachelorette parties and just like a luxury bridal gang thing so like everyone can wear the same thing or similar things and it's pretty and they do nightwear and just like sundresses and like um, bridesmaid dresses things like that um the re the resale value for these ranges you know for some it was like 19 bucks and if that was it i wouldn't have taken some of them was like 50 dollars 40 dollars there so i don't know i thought this was really cute this is a piece that i may even i don't know i I didn't put it up. I have the picture. I have the listing in um, draft form. But then I was like, ah, my pictures. And I was sick and I didn't put it on a mannequin. So I may have to just go back and put it on a mannequin to give it a chance. <laughs> but I got that. Oh, I was super excited about this next item. It was another, it was the first bathing suit I found actually that day. And I was just like, this is really cute. So these are the shorts. Ooh. And this is the bikini top. And I've already washed these items. Super cute. And it's Giorgio Armani. Yes. I was so happy to find this. It's in excellent condition. Like I said, I've already washed it. This is already up. I put it on my half mannequin. I have two mannequins. I have a full mannequin. And then I have like that little bottom bodice mannequin that you can hang on a wall. I have that. And I put it on that. And I took flat, also flat legs, so I had a real option. But I also think that when you resell, uh, if you have the time, 
you know, it's nice to sometimes play around with different ways of displaying your merchandise. And so if I have the time, you know, I'll do it on a mannequin and I'll do a flat lay, um, you know, or just hang. Uh, just so, you know, sometimes it's amazing. I've had things sell just because of how I changed the picture. So like sometimes just off the bat having multiple pictures up so I can just change them around when I'm listing them and, you know, reposting or sharing. So it works. <laughs> Are you ready for this next item? I don't know if you're ready. Yes, I found this. I found this. This is Givenchy. And it is authentic. It's men's red um, stars and stripes sweater. 100% cotton. It's in great condition. It has one small imperfection that I noticed, and I did. I already have it listed, and I put it on there. I put an up close picture, and I stated it. Uh, see, that's how small it is. I have to really look. Yeah, it's right here. It's a small run, just right here. So I still think it's a great piece to purchase. Um, so I'm gonna see how it does. But it's so cool. I love it. 91 cents guys, 91 cents. Can you believe this? Mm -mm. Okay. All right, this is another item that's sold already. <laughs> yeah, some of these things are already sold. Uh, it's the Spanx. This is a brand that we find it sells right away. I put it up, it was sold within like less than two, like three days. Sphinx and it's the Ready Wow um, contour waist band uh, pants. So they have ankle, uh, they have ankle uh, zippers. It's like a legging. So I just have to take that lint off. But I already washed this. And um, yeah, so those sold already. I'm gonna do a separate video of how much I'm gonna start doing like my sales and stuff. But. Well, let me know if you guys want to see, know my sales, uh, how much my stuff sells for. I mean, you could just go to my closet and check it out, really. But let me know. <laughs> so that sold already. Okay, start my new pile there. I see I forgot to pack some of the things that I have upstairs, but I'll put that, I'll put that for my next video. I'll put it for my next video. Um, Kit and Ace, a great reselling brand. Um, they have really, they hold their reselling power. <laughs> so this is a turtleneck. Uh, it's brushed cotton. And it's nice because it's like slim fitting. And it has this interesting like, I don't know, bro bronze, like little darting. I think you can see that right there. But I have a stock photo in a different color, but I have like a side by side. So they can see the actual color I'm selling. But um, Kid and Ace really do this very well. I'm not sure about how this one is going to do right now, just because we're moving away from winter. And so you have to really get your winter things up. And turtle eggs are like tricky to me, um, you know? So I'm not sure. Like I think sweaters still will do well right now because that's something that I think people still kind of wear in transition. Like you can see people sometimes with like a cute sweater and jean shorts, you know, like Cali style kind of, but you don't really see people transitioning from winter to spring with like turtlenecks necessarily. So I don't know. Well, maybe because you can cute a cute turtleneck under like a slip dress and some booties and look really cute. So I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it does. <clears throat> I got this. I usually actually don't pick up this brand. I know some people, they pick it up and they like, and I see people are like, they get decent money for it, you know? So, but, um, American Eagle Outfitters. And I got this. This is this cute little ruffling kind of crop top. Look at the elastic back. Just for straps. Lace up front. Very cute. I just thought it was super cute. So, and I found a nice, um, stock photo. So we'll see how that does. I didn't price it very high. And I think also that could be a cool um, bundle if you want to bundle that with something. <clears throat> Alright. 
And this is from J. Crew. And I just think this is so beautiful. I already have a stock, I already have a stock, I have a stock photo. That's the great thing about J. Crew. You almost always can find a stock photo. Uh, the thing with J. Crew is, I don't know. It's like, I feel like J. Crew is kind of, I don't want to say declining on resale. I think people still buy it, but it's harder to get decent money for it. I mean, some things still go do well, like the J. Crew blazers. I think, especially like those tweed ones, they do still very strongly. Um, but a lot of the other pieces, I think that they're becoming really, um, it's just harder, I think. But I have like a soft spot, like I just like their design. I like their design so much. They make really cute pieces. So I keep buying it, but it does sit in my closet now a, a bit. I will not lie. And I gotta stop. I have to stop. I have to say back. I have to say adieu to some of the J. Crew. All right, and the last piece. I, I, I was missing, I feel like, two or three items. I think I left them upstairs. Because like I said, I did list these things, many of these things already. I have taken pictures already. And so I'm like a little behind. And so some of these things I forgot. But anyway, so the last piece. Uh, it's Eileen Fisher, a great staple brand. Staple, oh, sta yes, stable and staple <laughs> brand you resell. These are some just regular ponty, like leggings. Yeah, straight. And it looks how I'm like they're flare, but they're not. They're straight. It's a pull on pant. And uh, I have these up. And I think they'll sell, you know, within a month. That's the rule of thumb I keep for my stuff is I think I mentioned this in my other video, which you guys should check out. Um, that, you know, I like to honestly put 40 to 50% of my closet within 30 days. I do. I like my stuff to move. That's why when I'm at the bins, I don't know how other people buy at the bins, but I actually take, I'm very selective. Like I see a lot of people, they'll, I don't know at my bins. My bins in New York, these people are crazy. Like you'll get in a fight. I don't know how it is at your bins, but you will get in a fight because they have, they, they first thing they have people working in teams and they stand in front of the bins and when the bins comes like they just grab the stuff. And they just throw it in their little white bags. Like they're, they're not looking, they're just about trying to grab you before you get it. And I just do not bring myself to that. I literally, I stand there. People, people even call me, they look crazy. And people grab it like, ah. I'm there like this. Just looking, I'm looking at the tag, touching the stuff. Because you got to touch the stuff. I know some people wear these gloves and things. It is very dirty. I mean, if you may have high, hypersensitive skin, so I understand. Um, but this is a business where tact, your tactile skills actually help you a lot. You have to be able to touch and just all the that. Since you, you'll lose that item by trying to look for the tag all the time. You didn't touch like, oh, that feels like money. And <laughs> sure enough, it could be. So I touched the stuff, but I take my time. I just look through everything because, I mean, the, I've done, I have tr just tried it a couple of times, like just grabbing it and throwing it back. And you know what? For me, always. That is a waste of time because then I have a whole bag and I'm sitting in a corner going through and 98% of the stuff is garbage to me. It's stuff that I can't really resell for a good amount of money and I just now wasted 20 minutes, 30 minutes looking at stuff and just going, oh, no, I don't want that. Oh, no, I don't want that. Instead of just standing and like letting people go crazy because another thing that I do at my bins, which I'm sure you do, is that, you know, once bins have finished being freshly rolled out everyone gets their stuff then people start going and sorting i love sorting because see i usually don't have to sort that much because i sorted it when i was in front i look it over again before i go to register but i sorted it already when i picked it out because i really thought it was worthy everyone else is in the corner sorting so i go around and they're throwing things over and a lot of them don't at least in my bins they have no recognition of brands so they were like what who's georgia who what they don't know suit supply they don't know mara hoffman's they're like i don't know this chick i don't need that oh wow that's new that's from cool i want that you know so, <laughs> no shame but i'm so i'm just picking up i usually find amazing treasures just going through other people's cast offs because 
that I think does have a big influence in your reselling is understanding trends, understanding resale value. Because some people they swear because you know it has a name it's gonna resell, but no. You have to understand it's the resale value and what people who are going to pay their money what they really want to spend on any given item. And also, you have to understand brands. You have to have brand recognition. Anyone who's like, oh, you know, I just do better bread and butter. I just do bread and butter. I mean, everyone is different. You know, I'm looking to really take my business to the next level. Um, and I want to, you know, make a lot of money. But I don't want to... I think that's why a lot of times in the reselling community, people often get... People often then you hear these same rants of, oh... You know they start blaming the platform or they're like oh it's super slow or, oh no one's buying or oh it's oversaturated and I'm like well I think it's because fashion is constantly moving you know and you gotta move with it and I think that what really helps is when someone understands how fashion is moving you know you gotta know what people care about you know what brands people are looking for, what's really cool, you know? Like I said, I personally like the designs of J. Crew, but people are not trying to pay a premium for most J. Crew. And at the end of the day, you have to consider your time and your energy. And so the time I take to source it, the time I'm taking to list it and post it, the time the amount of time is sitting in my closet and it's taking up space. I mean, is it worth it for like a ten dollar sale? Or a $15 sale because that $15 is still being cut up because you have to pay shipping costs or you have to pay just the service fee to whatever platform you're using you know and then the day it's like okay yeah I made $10 $12 off of you know two bucks which is great but then it's like $8 and it's just like ah, that $8 and then maybe if you have like five J. Crew pieces, maybe it's better to just have that one piece that's gonna sell for 40 bucks as opposed to those five, you know? So, that's just my thoughts. But I hope you guys enjoyed this haul and this mini resale therapy session. <laughs> and please, again, like, subscribe, comment, and continue to watch me because I promise you I am gonna upload regularly. Uh, haul videos and um, thrifting tips and reselling tips and you know I just want you to follow me on this journey and we learn from each other all right talk to you guys later bye